All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a match. This game is going to be a 2v2 matchup taking place here on Turtle Rock. It is star shaped and chic going up against, I believe, well, here's chic. Here is star shaped going up against Gons and Smokes. Gons spawning as the red Night Elf player. Meanwhile, Smokes spawning as the red orc. This is Orc and Night Elf going up against Night Elf and Undead in this 2v2 matchup. And this is all from the WGL 2v2s. I'm still trying to get NetEase to work once again. Um, apparently, uh, Chinese restrictions and for the protection of their citizens, you have to register a Chinese phone number in order to log into a NetEase account. Um, haven't really found ways to, or ways to get around that as of yet. Hopefully people in the community will be able to find a way to get around that. I, I think at some point you actually had to register your identification card um, in order to be able to log in. Um, but with that before, you can kind of fake it. I mean, I don't have a Chinese identification card. Um, and well, uh, I guess people found enough ways to fake it. So once people found ways to fake it, they're like, okay, we're gonna require you to enter in a phone number and then we'll send you an SMS text to verify that it is your phone. And now all of a sudden I can't do anything. So um, yeah, a little bit of a, of a sad day there. I don't know if, um, well, if it seems like there's a lot of things working against trying to build the Warcraft 3 community, the community itself um, may have something to do with that, but that is for a different discussion at a different time. Now, Voodoo Lounge, Altar of Storms, gonna go ahead and train up a Farseer. Meanwhile, we're looking at the Night Elf, and this is a bit odd. Normally, well, I think we are actually gonna be going for, yeah, very fast tech to tier two. There's that Orc Burrow, so it is a Voodoo Lounge. Farseer gonna pick up some items and now make its way out. Out, perhaps picking up some healing salves. So no net ease games anymore. Can we find a solution? Nice to have a 2v2 game, by the way. Yes, metaphysics. Um, until I figure out how to get net ease working. Um, and, you know, you guys know that I, I do have a other full-time job that I am taking care of. Come on, just finish off that acolyte. Um, I don't have that much time to focus on trying to solve that particular problem. Meanwhile, Farsi, you're going up against the Death Knight. A lot of damage already being absorbed by that Death Knight there. The Spirit Wolves doing a lot of damage as the Demon Hunter now going to retreat back. We are looking at a Scroll of Protection. Or excuse me, not a Scroll of Protection. Healing Salve now coming in there as the damage is now getting added back in. Are we going to see another Mana Burn? Yes, we are, but damage on that demon hunter has been absorbed up pretty quickly death knight gonna join back in on the fight spirit wolves skeletal minions all joining in as well keeper of the grove low on mana are we gonna perhaps see another entangle right there and yes there you are all of a sudden that death knight may find himself very lonesome as the keeper of the grove gets the final shot off there keeper of the grove gonna go ahead and fight back here farseer could easily give a little bit more mana back over to that keeper of the grove to try and finish things off as the farseer gonna go ahead just heal up some moonwell juice but that is a double bladed sword or double edged sword as the Farseer now has more mana to burn off. Keeper of the Grove going to try and chase. Let's take a look. Is one or two more shots going to be enough to finish it off? Farseer getting into that position right now. Demon Hunter running away at 19 hit points. And the units are going to try and split. Keeper of the Grove keeping track in the front. Oh, wait, nope. What, why did the Keeper of the Grove decide to back off? Keeper of the Grove decided to back off as the Demon Hunter suicided himself then. All right, Farseer now moving back off to the North Keeper of the Grove, moving away. It is going to be battle net for a little bit of time. Plenty of good games there too, obviously. However, um, well, NetEase's client is similar to actual battle net 2.0 for StarCraft. If you don't have the required map, it actually downloads it for you. It's all being stored. Hi, Aria. Um, it all stores it for you as opposed to the current upgraded and I use that word ter term loosely, upgraded Battle.net that Warcraft 3 is currently using. Now, as we're engaging here, Ogre Magi trying to chase after that archer. Damage going to get added up. The Keeper of the Grove gets the level 2, picks up a pure up of vitality as um, the units are now still making their way back around. That Death Knight getting taken down and forcing a Scroll of Town portal from Star Shaped very early. Um, well, that it has a lot of negative, negative effects as well. At least no experience was given. But we are looking at Torrent Dual Torrent Totems. 
dual Torrent totems here as now we're going to go into a staff of teleportation. Demon Hunter now making its way in. Damage is being dealt. We're going to take a look. Torrent totem now going to get taken down. Shadow Hunter is going to be popping out here in just a moment. Is this going to get canceled? And I am very curious as to what the Red Army's strategy is going to be here. Keeper of the Grove taking a lot of damage now. Or, or Keeper of the Grove going to try and get an entangle. Shadow Hunter is right there. Are we going to get a hex off? No, no hex off in time as the Demon Hunter uses a scroll of town portal to head back home death knight back off to the north here um i'm gonna go ahead and clear up this creep camp here ogre magi is still there as perhaps well sheik knew that the army was already on its way ogre magi ends joining in on the fight farseer low on well low on items as we're gonna look at this ogre magi now dropped down there is another watcher ward being placed down very very important as that is invulnerable it will stay there for a very long time giving permanent sight a reason why to clear out these goblin merchant shops tome of intelligence plus two now given to the keeper of the grove as we're going to see that all get cleared out here now what are we doing we are going into mass spirit walkers all right and now going into tier three so this may actually be quick tech to Torin. So this strategy is going to be archers and going very wide and then the Torin in the front line. So spirit walkers go getting perhaps get mastery training as well as the gargantuan sea turtle is going to get taken down. And in in a in a strange sense that actually sounds like a very very nasty powerful army. Archers are generally glass cannons. They have very low hit points, but for their cost and for their so, um, food supply, they do deal a large amount of damage. However, if you can't get to them, you can't take them down. They also have that blessing that t causes them to take reduced damage from magic. So trying to clear them out with shock waves or any sort of AOE magic doesn't work out nearly as well. Keeper of the Grove, units are now going to make their way out across over here. Gargantuan Sea Turtle, engagement now getting underway. Gargantuan Sea Turtle now taken down. Demon Hunter, Death Knight picks up the Potion of Invulnerability. Staff of Teleportation, not going to work as Starshape going to lose his Demon Hunter. Level 2 now on that Shadow Hunter. As the archers are now making their way out, let's take a look back across here. More tor the Torrent Totems are still training up some Spirit Walkers. Keeper of the Grove at a monstrous level 3 already at this stage and i believe yes we are at tree of ages but we don't see a second hero as of yet and this is actually oh yes we are getting the improved bow so now all of a sudden the archers now dealing 17 to 21 damage and remember 17 to 21 damage coming in from a two supply unit uh, for comparison footmen deal 12 to 13 damage they perhaps they may attack a little bit slower but at the same time you do have access to that range keeper of the grove has a scroll of protection farce you're now getting up to level three shadow hunter may get to level three off of no i don't think so anymore since there are three heroes here as you now see a rune of healing all right spirit link also being used across this entire army here so spirit link going to be incredibly powerful as the stronghold nearly upgraded to fortress back across here we are looking at a good number of crypt fiends archers and dryads um, as the units are now making their rounds out all right are we going to perhaps see a tree of life being as being set up there as the majority of the creep camps have now nearly been cleared out i never realized how fast the gameplay is on turtle rock when there are four armies to be had all right where are the units going? Why would you actually engage and then try and run by? Oh, perhaps they suspect that there is something going down here. There is a shockwave trying to do a potential creep jack. And all of a sudden, Starshape and Sheik need to go ahead and retreat. They do not want to get caught out of position. They may see an obsidian statue taken down. 34 hit points. And it ends up staying alive. Beautifully, well, beautifully staying alive right there. Archer getting caught in transit. A little bit of an unfortunate loss there. As we are looking at, yes, um, Mastery Training and Torin now getting well trained up farseer gets brilliance aura i was gonna say if somehow the farseer and the farseer or keeper of the grove has brilliance aura all of a sudden the mana problems are gonna be completely gone now with plenty of mana entangles will be coming in very quickly there is that torin now gonna go ahead and engage 30 to 36 damage very high damage indeed 
Um, how is it taking any damage whatsoever? That turtle wasn't even looking at it, but it was still able to well, somehow splash some damage on. All right, there goes that one unit there, staying alive. Um, as the, we're looking at the mountain giants making their way back across. All right, Pit Lord um, gives an item over to, I believe, the no, not the Lich. I would have thought, or was it the Demon Hunter? No, I thought there was a Claws of Attack plus six somewhere. Oh, no, just moved down. My microphone was blocking the view. All right, remaining units now getting cleared up. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level four. Going to go ahead. All those units will get lost here. This mass army of archers looking at 45, 49 over 50 supply. Very, very heavy upgrade into archers with moon armor upgrades as well. Those archers, 2-0 upgraded. Torin not upgraded at all, but they are big and big and beefy. And we already have mastery training on those spirit walkers. 46 over 60 supply trying to get up, get up as many Torin as possible now going into 51 over 60 could try and train up and now fit what 56 yep gonna go ahead and try to get into that 70 supply range don't want to stay too low here mountain giants um, are in that front line spot too archers triads here we go we're gonna see an engagement uh, the archers gonna try and engage there comes that damage mana burn already spirit link going across as the mass archers oh there's a keeper of the grove there's an impale trying to pick up some units and then that was a good lineup there good to try to counteract all of that as the torrents are resurrecting all right we see howl of terror scroll of protection massive damage crypt lord staying alive still as the master or as the spirit walkers are still staying alive here all right torrents are getting resurrected left and right and this is all at the 12 minute mark of the game the torren are able to dive on in into that back line and they are absolutely scary knowing that the spirit walkers with brilliance aura can just constantly resurrect them you you've We've seen multiple getting taken down. They get knocked back down, but they get up again. And they are just staying alive with those Spirit Walkers. Pitlor now going to get taken down. Shadowhunter now looking to back up as the Torin are just absolutely controlling the place, pace of this game. Mountain Giant Hex, is it going to get taken down? Down to 194 hit points. Torin getting back up once more as the units are continuing to fight their way through. This army of Torin, I don't know how many times they've fallen, but there is still four Torin out on the field. And now... With Gons setting up an expansion already, he's going to be able to funnel in more gold to his Red Orc friend, get more Spirit Walkers and more Torrens out on this field. This 2v2 style, they must have practiced it tremendously. Star-shaped and chic, perhaps the more well-known players in this matchup, having a difficult time um, keeping the units alive. Let's take a look at the supply. 53 supply over 60, 56 um, 45 and 49. So overall supply is actually much closer than I would have given them, would, would have originally thought. 21 supply, 20 or 2-1 two, two, upgrades here. Archers well, quickly getting taken down as the units are now going to try to battle it out. All right, are we going to perhaps go for a little bit of a flank? Here we go. Destroyers, however, are going to have a very easy time. Scroll of Speed now being used in order for many of those units to get away. There is that all of that extra damage here, and it looks like Sheik and Star Shape have finally found their footing. The archers, the army is split and a miscontrol causing problems now as the Torrens are going to try and finally engage. All right, archers going to be coming in from the back. Let's take a look at this mountain, or Torrens now going to go ahead and try and engage against all of those units. Archers coming in from the side here. Spirit Walkers getting separated, not what you want to be seeing at all as the Torrens are still trying to chase. Keeper of the Grove and and the Archer army just completely out of position, and that was the problem. Spirit Walker is now taking additional damage from the Destroyers as they are dealing magic damage. All right, coming back through, we're looking at the Torrents trying to finally engage. Now we should be some looking at some Staff to Preservations st um, as we're going to have Star Shape perhaps try and teleport some of those units back out of harm's way. M yes, Spirit Walkers are still trying to come and engage here. Torrent are still right here. Farseer gets up to level four as the fighting is still raging on. Keeper Demon Hunter finally going to be able to back out as we are seeing the torrents are getting knocked back down we should have a spirit walker resurrection here momentarily more spirit walkers need to be trained up perhaps as mana could be the um, the problem gonna go ahead yes there you go there is that torrent coming back out ready to go all uh, right, Mantle of Intelligence dropped. Farseer could use a little bit of extra mana. Torin, I don't know what they are doing here as we're not going to see an engagement off to the side. Um, well, 
troll berserkers keeper the grove trying to engage as this tree of life well is not really in danger as of yet wisp should easily be able to repair as the keeper of the grove gets a big entangle off onto that lich lich however still in uh, still in good prime spot keeper of the grove trying to stay alive does it have spirit link no it has a potion of invulnerability even better as the units are now trying to pelt away in comes a shadow hunter we're gonna see a pincer play and sheik is this time the one caught away from the rest of his friends keeper of the grove is gonna get in another entangle yes it is it gets it onto um a wisp no that is a hexed crypt fiend as that crypt fiend is going to get taken down all right torrent trying to block and do some body blocks once again torrent still trying to engage meanwhile back down to the south mountain giants now with siege damage going to be able to easily clear up these moon wells and that is actually a problem you don't want to be removing some of the healing capabilities but the army here two versus one coming in from the other side as the well you cannot have the destroyers try to dive on in too much archer should actually be going after those destroyers why aren't you protecting your units as the boneyard well was almost um, could have been taken down first all right i guess that that's what they were looking for they were trying to take down the boneyard before it got up it's turning into a base race scenario mountain giants your neighborhood friendly mountain giants beating down your buildings with a smile on their face as repairs are now underway continuing to battle it through we're going to take a look farsi are going to go ahead and try and scroll up town portal keeper of the grove going to do exactly that as well as they teleport back down and where come on there's a the teleport there you go mountain tree of ages is it going to be able to save yes it is but not before a whole bunch of moon wells are lost 49 over 30 supply upside down on supply as we are still mining up on two bases Yep, there. That was a moon wall right there. At least he got another moon wall. Well, yeah, it's it's not gonna stand around for very long. That moon wall gonna quickly get canceled. Gons not gonna be able to save this tree of life this time around as the units are now shifting back off to the north. This tree of ages perhaps should be getting repaired. We're now trying to mine some more gold as well. This could potentially be a problem. But now we see an engagement in the center portion of the map. All right, quick hex onto the demon hunter. Demon hunter does have boots of speed. Are we gonna see an entangle follow up? No, uh, keeper of the grove is trying to get there but unable to do so just simply too far in the back units are now chasing back the other way we are taking a look at the undead army now making their way back over as there are i believe frost worms in the air yep frost worms and destroyers are in the air we are here ready getting ready to engage mountain giants going to try and fight and here we go there is the destroyers out onto the field quickly devouring all of those spirit wolves going to go ahead and try and fight some more but the well the force of natures are actually going to be a little bit of a double-edged sword as the destroyer should be able to easily eat them without any issue whatsoever a giant impale goes across much of the army here Torin is still right there are they going to get taken down archers trying to pelt their way through as the spirit walkers are going to try and well just constantly resurrect again all right are they going to get back up yes they are Torin are falling they are getting back up but they still give experience as the archers are still trying to pelt their way through death knight being forced to retreat all the way back archers are still here as what well, without spirit link because of the devour magic all of a sudden the archers are having a difficult time staying alive as well Torin still alive here howl of terror causing major damage trip lord could get taken down it gets taken down finally potion of invulnerability as the Torin, if they actually had pulverized could deal a large amount of damage staff of preservation saves one demon hunter gets up to level four school of town portal going back the other way and everyone is retreating wow. all right a massive huge battle 45 over 50 supply 58 over 70 compared to 61 and 24 gons losing a majority of his army right here as we're looking at gons trying to set up uh, well up oh, there goes that archer there and it looks like this tree of life is not going to pay off at all whatsoever the strategy of Torin that looked so strong early on, but star-shaped and chic seem to have found the perfect counter to it. The problem, though, is are these huge, huge mountain giants. You take a look at this supply, 50 over 70, but that between, like, what is that, seven supply that has less than, like, what, 600 hit points? So 42, yeah, so that's going to be a lot to try and recover. Don't forget that Torrents have mini pulverized from start. Um, yeah, I I know they have mini pulverized, but if they were pulverizing, I believe um, Torrents still do normal damage when they pulverize. And if they, I think that's the case. So 
if you are pulverizing with a um, normal damage against mountain giants uh, multiple mountain giants are taking all of that damage there all right and it's looking to try and stop this tree of life from getting up and going oh let's take a look at this a huge battle taking place already are we gonna see a torrent get taken down yes we are a little bit of experience given uh, the spirit walker should be able to take care of that with no problem whatsoever but it's the constant experience that is the problem here come on come on spirit walker you see your dead dead brethren right there there you go walking right on by all right units are here ready to go again star shape trying to reestablish up an expansion once more um, yeah they they have mini pulverized now that was something to increase their effectiveness same thing with animal war training um, animal war training was overall less effective but they increased the overall hit points of knights griffins and dragon hawk riders so the overall effect was the same all right Torrens now making their way back over. Spirit Wolves going to try and take this down again. And Star Shaped may end up losing this expansion. Archers, um, they're just moving around the map. And at this point, I would have thought that Gons realized that yeah, you need your entire army together to be effective at all. All of the, oh, ooh, that Tree of Life almost taken down, being forced to uproot right there. All right, Tree of Life going to go ahead and pick up some items there. Meanwhile, Ent's going to go ahead and clear out those forest trolls as we're looking at the Shadow Hunter still moving around, perhaps setting up a tiny Great Hall in the center portion of the map and, well, needing a little bit more gold. We are down to 340 gold. Um, we are pretty much nearly mined out on all fronts. Gods still getting in a little bit of mining as this one Tree of Life is now trying to entangle another gold gold mine spirit walkers have mana torin r01 upgraded where are the archers keeper of the grove right here Look, looking at 39 over 50 supply more archers are not being trained that does um, not surprise me considering what we're looking at right now as the death knight army now going to be making its way back out we could have an engagement here in just a moment here we go gonna try to go for a fight an army of ants gonna well, meet an army of bears and those trees are just on the run all right going back and forth it looks like sheik and star shaped are gonna try and time their attack there goes a quick quick death of a uh, well a quick ensnare to try and capture some of those raiders out of position as we're going to be seeing some of those units trying to make their way back out chain lightning death knight could have a problem he quickly uses a scroll of town portal is able to get away meanwhile one destroyer or one destroyer able to stay alive another tauren falling resurrecting and um, tauren only to have them constantly die is not not how you want to be using resurrection we are getting a lot of experience for the undead army and the night elf army in that way a worm died that was close all right so i guess trading a worm for a resurrecting torrent is still a good trade there meanwhile units are now making their way back out raiders with ensnare are going to be key we're going to look at this haunted gold mine gonna just get canceled right now as well this could turn into a base race scenario in the base race scenario well, whoever has the last remaining building is going to come out ahead as the armies are still split apart right now. Great Hall is mining away 77 over 90 supply. And, and well, what is going to end up going down? 01 upgrade still. And the Mountain Giants just taking down the Hunter's Hall and all of these remaining buildings here. Meanwhile, Ents trying to finish off the Tree of Life. Um, well, going to take down some of those Wisps, though. That's going to be rather easy. We need to be seen in snakes. Once you have ensnares go down, you kind of force the undead army to stick around. And Sheik has really just been burning through. Shadow Hunter dies. Sheik has really been burning through Scrolls of Town Portal. Shadow Hunter falling at level four. That is huge. But the Keeper of the Grove is also getting very close to level five as well. Uh, Meanwhile, six. Or level six as well. Thank you, Arya. My daughter correcting me on what level. The heroes are almost at. All right, Keeper of the Grove going to try and engage. All of these, um, well, all of these acolytes could end up getting taken down. Is that going to give level, yeah, that is going to give level six to the Keeper of the Grove. And all of a sudden, the Keeper of the Grove and the Night Elf army has, well, 
one of the most feared abilities, tranquility. Tranquil tranquility to keep all of the units alive. Meanwhile, they're fighting back across all over here. Are they going to be able to make their way back down? It is a 1v1 fight right now. Shadow Hunter could be in trouble. Shadow Hunter, however, not getting nuked at all as the archer is going to try to engage Death Knight and Death Knight. And there's that impale that we were expecting as the tranquility. Oh, tranquility online, but a little bit late for the Farseer to come alive. All right, units are all trying to engage back and forth. Un some of the units not under the cover of the tranquility, though, as there was another impale onto that Keeper of the Grove. Damage still pushing through. Archers trying to finish off more units. Crippler now out of mana as the Keeper of the Grove perhaps wishes that he had another Tranquility in the tank. Shadow Hunter low on mana. Going to go ahead and buy a potion of mana. Heal back up and then Healing Wave bounce it around. Still trying to keep all of these units alive. Torin, the Spirit Walkers quickly just getting melted away by those Frostworms as they are sitting in the Ethereal form. That's not what you want to be doing in this fight right now as the Frostworms and the Destroyers are eating you alive. Archer is now trying to back away again. As you can see, the pulver mini pulverize and all of that fighting still getting here. All right, Sheik trying to chase here as well. It looks like that is going to be the game. Gons giving in the GG as star shaped and Sheik finding the perfect combination of units to deal with resurrecting Torin at the 11 minute, 11 minute mark. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I really think it was Star Shake and Sheik's ability to adapt in that game that really put them over the edge. Using Destroyers, which is a unit you don't see all that much after um, they were rebalanced, but they were perfect going against the Spirit Walkers when they are in the Ethereal That's form. Cool. Um, and the Frostworms also were able to take down those Spirit Walkers as well. The Devour of Magic removing that Spirit Link and just being able to constantly like just remove all of that effect right there. Sheik and Starshape had a game plan. They went in and they ended up, well, not being able to adapt to Starshake, Starshaped and Sheik's experience. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed that game.